This is an iPhone 3GS. Now if you read the title, you might be wondering, what's so special about an old iPhone? Well, apart from it being a collectible item at this point, considering this is now an 11 year old phone, it's also got a special trick up its sleeve that other phones may have and you may not even know about it. So of course, the iPhone 3GS is the last iPhone before the iPhone 4 design, which introduced glass and stainless steel. So of course, this one does still have a glass front, but it has a plastic housing, kind of like the iPhone 5C. There is actually a lot you can do with these. It's still a very nice offline device, and even if you want to play videos or even play some older games from this time era, it's actually a really nice device for something like that. Now, of course, you can always go with something that has a retina display if you want to do something similar, but there's just something so special about these non-retina devices, considering that this is peak Steve Jobs era. Now, even though it may not have the same premium look and feel, as an iPhone 4 or 4S with its glass back and stainless steel band, it also means you don't get something like this or like this. There is one thing that all of these devices share in common, including iPod Touches and older iPads. They were huge during the initial jailbreaking scene whenever these devices were new. Now, if you don't know what jailbreaking is, it basically means you can install apps and system tweaks that are officially not supported by Apple. Doing it on a newer device doesn't really help too much unless you're really into jailbreaking, but on older devices especially, it's really helpful because it brings a lot more life and support back into them, meaning that you can install apps that are technically not supported anymore on something like iOS 7 or iOS 6. Now typically, on a stock version of iOS like this, you're pretty limited to what you can do because the App Store will most likely not allow you to download most modern apps, even though older versions will work just fine. And of course, you can't have anything like a control center on iOS 6. Jailbreaking can help make that possible because there's a lot of tweaks that have similar functions and added expandability into something like the iOS 6 control center and just add more things in general. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking, all right, it's interesting, but what is so special about this iPhone 3GS? Well, the main advantage that it has is that it has saved SHSH blobs. Now, if you already know what that means, then you know it's pretty cool. Now, every time when Apple releases a new version of iOS, they sign it, which means that you are able to restore to that current version of iOS. Now, in this case, iOS 4.1 is technically signed for the 3GS, but that's something to do with PowerPC machines and it's a whole exception. But with iOS 6, this is currently the only version that is signed for the 3GS. And if you look at every single other version of iOS that was initially supported on this, you can't downgrade to it. So all of these versions of iOS are not available to be restored to on this 3GS. However, having a saved SHSH blob means that for whichever version you saved them for, you can easily restore to that version. In this case, the original owner that had this 3GS seems like they were into jailbreaking. The cool part is that all of the blobs that are available for this are for versions of iOS 4. SHSH blobs can only really be saved during this time frame. If you've been a follower of the channel for a while, you may have noticed that this same 3GS is in my channel banner. And before that, I got this last year, so how is it at this point in time I'm now realizing that this has SHSH blobs? Well, there's nothing that explicitly tells you if a device has saved blobs. And in this case, one day I just decided to finally check all of my devices, and this was one of the cool ones. Unfortunately, there weren't any for any of the others, but every time I get a new device, I'll definitely have to check it because you never know. Because I've had this for quite a while, and I never knew about it. So with these new blobs, I can easily downgrade if I wanted to, and also jailbreak since even though iOS 4 is older and has less support, it also means that this 3GS will be much faster, even though iOS 6 is already pretty nice, and jailbreaking always opens up more potential. It's also important to mention that if you had a device around this time and you still have it, but you were never involved in the jailbreaking community, then you won't have any sort of SHSH blob saved because it requires programs like Red Snow or iFaith to do something like that. 
The only real way to find a device that has saved blobs at this point is to find one that's actually listed as having some, or if you find a part slot with a whole bunch of older iPhones and you just test them out one by one to see if they actually have something saved. So right now for older versions of software like iFaith, Red Snow, that also have a Windows port, I have my dedicated Windows 7 machine just for stuff like this. If we open up iFaith, then we can actually see that this has saved blobs. So here we have iFaith open, and once we click on OK, it brings us to this menu. Now from here, if we click on Show Available SHSH Caches, I typically get this error, but that is all right because then I can hook up the 3GS to the computer, open up iTunes, and then extract my ECID from there. So from here on the 3GS, all I have to do is click on this part here until I get the ECID number. And then once we're at the iFaith cache server here, we then have to select our device. And in this case, it's a 3GS, and then paste our ECID. Then we have to just click on show available blobs. And from here, we can click on show list. And there they are. Now I've already downloaded every single one of these blobs just to be safe, but we have 4.1 all the way up to 4.3.5, which is basically most of iOS 4 for the 3GS. So it's a really nice find, and it also means that I can easily downgrade to any one of these iOS versions. Now, even though we may not have something like iPhone OS 3 or iOS 4.0 or 4.0.1. It's still really nice to have something like iOS 4.1 all the way up to 4.3.5. So having these saved blobs is a really nice find. And considering that most 3GSs are usually on iOS 6 at this point, it's always nice to have something like these blobs in order to downgrade to an older version. Now in this video, we won't be downgrading because I wanna hear what you guys want me to downgrade it to. I'll make a tutorial video, but I also want you guys to choose which version. Technically 4.1 is still being shown as a version you can downgrade with, but considering we have something like 4.3.5, that's also pretty cool. So I'd be interested to hear in what you guys want me to downgrade this phone to. So hopefully this video was enjoyable or educational. And if you guys enjoyed it, then consider subscribing as it really does help out the channel and more content is definitely on the way. That's it for now. And thanks for watching.